ladies and gentlemen. So sorry to disturb you. I'd like to introduce... Good evening. Uh, please do not get up. I I'm sorry to interrupt your gathering. I was informed by Farmkoff here. Excuse me, sir. It's Farnsworth. Ah, yes, well, as I was saying, Farnsworth has informed me that you were all gathered here tonight at Duke Drafty's request. Apparently, he was to disclose the name of the new heir to the Airsborne title. <laughs> Do forgive me, you don't know who I am. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. I am Dr. Stephen Scope. I have a small medical practice in the village of Salad's Bar. I was called to the castle by Farnsworth, <laughs> the Duke's loyal servant. Oh, thank you, sir. Farnsworth here rang me up a short while ago to attend to the Duke's sudden illness. I... I thought it was just gas. Yes, well, only minutes ago I arrived to find the Duke on the floor of his sleeping chamber, quite dead. <laughs> Poor Crafty. He had wanted to be Duke all his life. First, Lord Lydon and... Duke Lofty were killed in the tragic balloon accident five days ago. And now, this poor Drafty. It would seem, Farnsworth, these are not good times for people of title. But I'm afraid good people, there's more. I've only had time for a brief examination of the body, but any fool could tell it was murder. <laughs> he looked so... So peaceful. Peaceful? Well, judging by the frozen, twisted grimace of pain etched on his face, I believe Duke Drafty was poisoned. <coughs> his hand stretched outward as if to wave goodbye. Get a hold of yourself, man. Premature rigor mortis had set in, causing a sudden muscular contraction of the upper lateral extremity. Particularly his hand. Oh, my Drafty. My poor Duke Drafty. Quiet, please, Farnsworth. I do not think the crime occurred in the Duke's sleeping chamber. The poison was most likely slow acting and was probably administered in the late afternoon around tea time. Farnsworth says all of you would arrive by then. That fact, and judging from the event that was to transpire here tonight, it is easy to assume that each of you had a motive for murder. Yes, murder. I must now contact the detective inspector at Scotland Yard. Seeing that London is some distance away, I'm sure he will request that each one of you remain in this room until he arrives. In that time, the innocent among you may try to draw out the culprit to avoid the potentially embarrassing interrogations of Scotland Yard. Not that all of you have something to hide. I'll continue my examination of the Duke's body and finish my medical report. I will be back shortly. Come along, Farnsworth. I'll need your assistance in moving the Duke's body. Oh, dear.